Hey everyone and welcome to the channel, my name is Ash and today I'm doing a quick review for how to fool a Liar King Remastered on the Xbox console. Now this was released on the 25th of November 2022, developed by Rosa Verte and published by Rattalaka Games who are kind enough to send me a copy for this video review. Now this is a visual novel and it's basically a sort of follow-up sequel to a previous visual novel we've covered on the channel called How to Take Off Your Mask. Now this takes place after the ending of that game so I would highly recommend playing that game first before jumping into this one. However like I say you can play it without having played both of them but honestly makes more sense to play that one first. Um, Basically, the main uh, female protagonist called Regina magically appears in the kingdom of Aurelia. Uh, she's no idea how she ended up there. And uh, she meets Julie and his companions, who she ends up joining on their journey to Lars, a country of cat people. So, this is a visual novel game full of um, a variety of choices you can make which i do like i'm not a kinetic visual novel fan i've said that previously on the channel so there are choices here that do affect the sort of story which is nice now the game um features voice acting however it is in japanese uh, but like i say it's well done and the the mouths move on the characters and stuff as well which is a really nice touch they have put a fair bit of effort into this game features beautiful manga art i really enjoy the backgrounds in this game i think they're the standout point the like bright pop colorful backgrounds the character art isn't too bad however obviously it's more of the same because some of the characters are the same as seen in how to take off your mask now the game also features a couple of cutscenes which are nice with sort of like theme songs so you can watch them after you've completed the game in like the menu which is a nice little touch but it's a, it's a nice bit of production value like I say having theme songs having like sort of cutscenes in the middle and stuff like that so cannot complain in that sense. Now like I say the game features a variety of choices and basically there's multiple endings like say will you find out how to get back home will you fall in love um is her presence there an accident is there a purpose behind it can she trust uh julie uh or should she be wary of him Do you know what i mean all that sort of stuff um it's not a bad game at all like i say um this remastered version now supports HD resolution and up to 60 FPS. It's got improved UI and animated interfaces. All those mouth and eye movements I've talked about, they've all been added since the original release in this remastered version. Um, it's all just been improved, basically. Now, there is another game in this series. It's not yet out on Xbox called How to Sing to Open Your Heart. So hopefully that gets released onto Xbox in the future. It most likely will. Um, based on the fact that the other two have. Overall, it's not a bad game. There are unlockable CGs, like the pictures and stuff like that, as well as a music player. So every time you listen to a, a song, it then gets unlocked into the music player as well. Now, gameplay-wise, like I say, there's not much to it. It's mainly just following the story on, but there are multiple points where you do get to pick the um, answers and the sort of conversation questions and stuff how you want to proceed they do arc the story off in different ways and you will need to play through the game at least twice to get a full 1000 gamer score however like i say it is an easy 1000 gamer score as well with all visual novels if you really want to just get the gamer score you can just blitz through it um and skip all the dialogue but like i say you may as well play through it once at least and then just blitz through it to get the sort of achievements for the second playthrough if that's your cup of tea now the game's priced at £14.99, playable on Xbox One and Xbox Series X and S, supports smart delivery and is optimised for Xbox Series X and S with those upgrades that I said earlier, including resolution and FPS. So price-wise, it is a little higher than some of the other sort of rat-like games and the visual novels available online. However, it is a very good visual novel if you're into visual novels. If you just go in for the achievements, maybe wait for a sale. But visual novel fans will find something here they will like. It's a decent story, lots of improvements. Um, like I say, the character art and the background art and everything's really nice. The soundtrack's great. And like I say, it is a sequel to their previous visual novel that was on Xbox as well. So it sort of 
following along with the the plot so i like that and like i say i'm looking forward to the third one coming out in the future but that's that for this video guys hope you've enjoyed it if you have hit that like button hit subscribe and we'll see you soon for more content bye for now